Now on Saturday night, British heavyweight boxer Dillian White defeated New Zealand's Joseph Parker, putting him firmly in the running for a world title fight. And that could mean a hugely anticipated rematch against Anthony Joshua, who Dillian actually beat at amateur level. He's a fan favourite who's uh, won a reputation for his grit, his power and his unpredictability. And he's with us now. Hopefully he won't be unpredictable this afternoon. Hi, Al. Yeah, <laughs> in the ring, it's a, it's a must, but in real, in real life, now. Just how important was Saturday night to you? It was good. It was a big fight. You know, I just beat a guy that was world champion, one fight gold, just lost a close um, decision to Anthony Joshua and vastly experienced as well, and he's younger than me as well. And what does it mean going forward for you as far as the next stage of your career is concerned, looking at you fighting as Wachata? Um, it, it means a lot, you know, I keep, um, people keep underestimating me and keep um, running me down. I just keep proving to them that I'm as good as what I say I am and, I'm, and I can be as good as what I say I will be. You went down in the 12th? Yeah, yeah, I got knocked down in like 30 seconds in the last, in the last round, you know, it was... Do you think it was slipping away from you? <clears throat> no, 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 I, I knew that um, I, I can get through these little dark patches. I train hard and I've been through so much in life, so I knew it was just another hurdle I had to overcome. OK. Tell me how you felt when they said you were the winner. I felt good, I felt good because, you know, once again, going to this fight, many people thought I was going to lose and yeah. I was meant to lose, but I knew how good I was, I knew I could get the job done and I just just got there and show what I was capable of doing. And, you know, I was the first person to ever knock Joseph Parker down. And they thought guys who's on paper was better than me and stronger than me and them's ever knocked him down. And I was managed to do something that not even Anthony Joshua couldn't do, so, you know. Um, are you ready for that world uh, title fight now? Do you yeah, know? I'm ready. I've, I've, you know, I've, I've come back from defeat and injury and stuff and I've, I'm on an eight fight winning streak now. And my last four fights have been top ten contenders, including two former world champions. I've just beaten two former world champions back to back, mm -hmm. you know, in emphatic fashion as well. So, yeah. As you I say, you knocked him down twice, didn't you? Yeah, I knocked him down twice, you know, and the guy before... Joshua's not been able to do that, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. And the guy before just fought, it was a world champion as well, never been stopped before and defeated, and I knocked him out. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, um, all the experience and stuff is coming together. Yeah. I feel we're ready to we're ready to push on now. Yeah, can we talk about? I mean, we'll talk about Anthony Joshua um, <clears throat> in a little bit, but can I talk about um, your character and what's made you who you are? I mean, it was tough to start with, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. My whole life story has been tough. My whole life story is a lot of darkness and a lot of hard, cold things that no no child should go through. You know, but um, it's made me the person I am, and it's made me a really tough, resilient person. And it showed in the fight. You know, when the chips was down, I rolled the dice. You know, and um, it's I mean, good to have You were a dad that. at 13? <clears throat> yeah, I was a dad at 13, you know. For, my mum left me when I was two years old to come to England. I didn't see her till I was 13. So, you know, and it was hard. I was bouncing between family and I had a hard life, hard upbringing and stuff. And then um, eventually came here. It wasn't an easy, it was difficult for me here being a foreign kid in, in the in UK. In what way was it difficult for you? It was difficult. I spoke differently, I dressed differently. You know, my mum had a lot of kids, so... We couldn't afford the luxury of things, so I just wear hand-me-down and stuff like that. So, you know, it was... And people thought it was funny to take the mic out of the way I speak and stuff like that at school and... Is that what made you tough? <clears throat> no. I mean, you were stabbed, you... All sorts of things have happened to you. <laughs> it's in a long, 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 long road, you know, got shot twice, been stabbed and stuff, but... You know, it's, it's just... It's some of the things that come with growing up in the city of London, you know what I mean? You just... You know, just... You just... could have turned a different corner. What made you take this one? You know what? I was going down that road, you know, I was one of the bad kids and stuff, and then I discovered um, sports. I discovered discover combat sports, and I started training and going to the gym, and then I was always so tired from training, I was always in pain, I was always going back to training again. It took up all my spare you didn't time. You energy and, to go out. Yeah, and it burned all my extra energy and stuff, so, you know, that's always encouraged kids and parents to try and get their their kids it, it, it involved in sports because it does wonders for you. You know, I mean, I find sports late. I find sports when I was um, 16 and I didn't really take it seriously until I was a, in my 20s, you know, which is too late. I was thinking if I had to find sports when I was a kid, how far would I have been and how great I would have been now, you know? Well, you're pretty great now, aren't you? Anthony Joshua on the cards. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fight we want. He wants the fight, I want the fight, but, you know, obviously, He's got a plan and I've got a plan, so I don't know whether realistically... I know he wants to fight, but I don't think his team wants to fight because they know how dangerous I am and they know what risk I, I possess, you know. We fought twice already. 
beaten once, I lost him once, and both times we thought I hurt him badly. So they know what, what risk and what danger I, I possess, but he's running, he's running out of opponents, and I'm just right there now. How much do you respect his <clears throat> talent? I respect him massively. He's a great fighter. You know, we spent 10 rounds in our career slugging it out. So it's a lot of time, and both times it's been wars. You know what I mean? He's a great, good fighter. You know, um, he's tough, he's a big guy, and he's strong, and he's improving just like me. But I believe that when me and him mix, I believe this time around, the right training and the right camp, I believe I beat him this time around. If not him, then whom? What's, what's the plan? Well, you know, this Deontay Wilder, we're trying to fight Tyson Fury. Our guy, Manuel Cho, has got a version of the, the real title, was WBA real title. But if not Joshua I did, I would like to fight Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. And how do you feel not... about him? Pardon? How do you, Tyson Fury, how would you take him on? I would take him what on head on. I would take him? him on head on. You know, I mean, me and Tyson Fury, we train loads. We spend lots of time boxing each other when he's coming up, so I know a lot about him. It's and a bit of a firebrand, though, isn't it? You never really know, quite know what he's going to say or what he's going to do. Yeah, I know, but, you know, that's boxing. That's boxing. I'm used to that, you know, I'm used to that. That's just a way of trying to get into people's head and trying to unsettle opponents. You can't make those things buffer, you know what I mean? My whole thing, you can say what he wants, do what he wants, and the night of the fight, we're going to go to war. And, and one thing you can guarantee is I won't be backing down, mm. you know? What do you do when you're not boxing? How do you relax? <clears throat> Spend time with my family, play Xbox, walk my dog, see my kids, and just, just, just... I just like spending time with my, my family. I like spending time with my family, messing about with my brothers, having a laugh, and my sisters and stuff. And just, just being a normal person, you know, the normal stuff, you know. You go home and mess about with my mum, wind her up and stuff like that, you know, and have what a laugh What does she think about, about you boxing? My mum doesn't like it, but, you know, she knows how much it's changed my life and what it's given me. I know how happy it makes me, so she supports me because of that. I don't think no more, no more wants to see their children getting, you know, because she's been there and seen me lose before, you know. She's seen me win. I've lost once, you know, and she was there December um, 2015 when I lost, you know. She was devastated, but it made her appreciate what I do more. It made her become more supportive of my training and try and help me out more in and around training. So, you know, but she's happy for me, you know, because the way my life was planned is even for me to be, to be dead and be in prison by a certain age. And, and now instead, I'm, yeah, look yeah, at you exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. So she, she's happy. She's Good happy. To talk she's, to you. she's grateful. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.